in today's video. Hi guys, welcome to today's video about my first wild caught local cockroach species. Uh, this species is called Perisferis punctactus and here a shout out to my friend TJ, the invertebrate dude, who helped me uh, to identify them, otherwise I wouldn't be, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to do that. Uh, they look like isopods if you look more closely and they are commonly known as the roly-poly roach. Um, this species uh, like I said, was my first local cockroach species, uh, local cot, and I caught uh, some uh, some individuals in March uh, of 2020 during one of my um, anting nights uh, early in the year. Uh, it had just finished raining, so. They were, uh, these cockroaches were running around. Um, they are arboreal, arboreal cockroaches. They like to live in the trees. In the wild, uh, they can be found uh, in the tree trunks, tree branches, or even uh, also roaming the flowers for nectar and other sugary substances. For example, I managed, I uh, witnessed um, some individuals in the wild drinking tree sap which I found quite quite interesting um, so uh, I managed to catch some individuals during a short period of time I went a uh, few times to try to find them because I wanted to keep a colony I thought this was a very interesting cockroach very l interestingly looking cockroach species and I did manage to to get a few breeding pairs I think I got two males and three or four uh, females. I think you can read this more in detail on the log later on. And um, yeah, and I start to keep them in a enclosure, a vertical enclosure similar to this. I wanted to replicate as much as possible the the same conditions in which I found them and. I noticed early on that they didn't like to stay near the the substrate that they would congregate uh, in the middle of the of the enclosure at medium height uh, so everything was making sense and um, and they started breathing uh, after a few months the after a few months after the, the females matured um, I managed to to see um, the females uh, extruding their uthicas and changing them from uh, uh, I think from their egg sac to their um, I forgot the name sorry and sorry these uh, technical terms still uh, are difficult to remember and um, although I've been keeping uh, cockroaches for a few years now I'm still not very uh, proficient with the, all the names so basically after a few months the the females started having babies and the interesting part is that they they gave live, live birth and and then one day I found a female completely surrounded with uh, baby nymphs and since then um, this colony of less than 10 individuals exploded although you cannot see it's probably over 50 or 60 individuals here in the back uh, I try I'm, I, I'm feeding them to see if I could attract more but uh, not at this moment and what else can I say <coughs> uh, this um, I find this species fascinating. I have uh, they're very dear to my heart because it's the like I said the first um, local which I caught and I managed to breed myself. 
uh, of course with the help of uh, TJ as I said he gave me good tips on how to keep them how to how to house them um, these cockroaches um, from the Paris Finai genus they can roll up into small balls just like isopods and the reason why they do this is for is as a defense mechanism against predators um, so in the wild they're extremely when they are when I find them in between the crevices of the trunks uh, they are extremely difficult to to pull out and uh, sometimes or most of the times what they will do is they will roll up into a ball and drop to the ground their exoskeleton is quite hard and, um, and very protective so they do not uh, they are not afraid to fall down from big heights f to escape the, the the predators just a quick note this one is a little bit uh, whitish now because uh, I took some time to to clean the enclosure before doing this video and I used a barrier to prevent the roaches to escape and some of them got uh, got painted with the baby powder that's why uh, normally they are very shiny um, very black they, they, they do not have any pigments or any white pigments like this one so the nymphs uh, either male or female look uh, exactly the same as their uh, as the adult females as their mothers but as uh, when adults if they reach if they are males uh, they will develop wings and they will be able to fly the, they will look very different from this uh, in terms of um, feeding I normally feed them what you're seeing just slices of apples and fish flakes or uh, turtle food pellets and they absolutely love it in terms of humidity um, normally I think I um, just uh, wet their enclosure once per month now I, I have been quite uh, lazy uh, to do so and because like I said before this enclosure was a little bit dirty I didn't want to have any fungus develop on inside so once a month and um, yeah but when I water it I completely pour water down so uh, I completely flood the, the bottom of the of the enclosure uh, in terms of temperature uh, well I don't worry too much because since they were caught in Macau uh, I don't take any special precaution uh, so they go through the through winter with 15 degrees Celsius no problem they lower their activity a little bit but uh, we can still find them uh, roaming around at night time especially um, yeah during the summer the, the temperatures go up to 32, 35 degrees here in my bug room and they don't seem to have any pr issues with that. I think they can get there all the humidity that they need, all the water that they need from the fruits that I provide to them. Uh, there are more in the back like I said but fortunately I cannot show you. I don't want to open this again because it's packed and they will run away from all over they will run away all over the place so um, oh before I forgot before I forget um, I have a discord about roaches and the link is in the description down below if you would like to join us uh, to talk about everything roach related uh, I would be very happy to welcome you and yeah i hope you have enjoyed don't forget to go to the to the blog to check the 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 post about this species so that you can see in more detail the all the all the macro photos that i took and i hope you have enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section if you have any questions and see you on saturday's video about mirmo bye thank you for watching bye